your lumbar multifidus is the most important muscle you've never heard of. Hey you all, welcome back to Stability Wad. We're going to move on today from the hip, knee, ankle, and foot. Not because there's not more to talk about, because I have a ton of ideas about how to train that system in a functional way to help improve stability. We're going to come back to that, but because like a lot of us, I have a short attention span, I'm ready to move on to something new. Today we're going to talk about the lumbar multifidus, and that brings us back to my beer can analogy, if you watch that video, where the multifidus is the seam of the can. It's what holds the wall of the can together, and it's where we get a lot of stability. However, it is an underappreciated and highly undertreated muscle when people have injuries of all kinds, from the back to the extremities. Multifidus affects not only the lumbar spine, but it continues all the way up through the thoracic into the cervical spine, and it can be responsible for anything from foot pain to elbow and hand pain. Here's some fun facts about your multifidus. Number one, it's very deep. It's located deep to your big movement muscles around your spine. Number two, it's a small stabilizer. Its job is to control and fine tune movement, not to produce movement. Number three, it's active regardless of which direction we're moving. So it's always working to try to control the quality of movement around our spine as our big muscles are doing heavy work. Multifidus goes offline oftentimes in the face of pain or inflammation. When this happens, the big movement oriented muscles take over its job to help create stability, but they do this by creating compression, which often causes more problems. If multifidus goes offline for one reason or another, it has to be reactivated and brought back online in a very specific way. Multifidus shutdown is one of the most commonly missed reasons why people have persistent low back pain. You guys, I can't stress the importance of the multifidus muscle enough as a deep, small, local stabilizer. It has massive implications when it comes to the stability of our spine and thus how well our spine and our extremities function. I hope I've piqued your interest. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about the anatomy of the multifidus and then we're gonna talk about how to self-assess and treat this muscle on our own. As always, thanks for tuning into Stability Wad. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.